All right, lots to go over in just a little bit of time. I just finished my trading challenge webinar. I give a weekly webinar to my trading challenge students. It's one of the benefits. I'm thoroughly exhausted right now. I've been up since five in the morning since I'm in West Coast. I'm getting more emails than ever because I created my second millionaire student. And today, today is the last day of our 50% off holiday sale for newsletters and DVDs. I'll post the link in this video too. Um, so I highly suggest you take us up on that, especially Superman. Um, but I want to do a quick video. I, I just couldn't go to sleep yet. I, 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 this is too important. During the trading challenge webinar, uh, you know, some of my students, they're like, why, how do you know if a stock is really breaking out or if it's topping? Um, and as you've been seeing, a lot of my recent trades have been buys uh, because I'm trying to buy breakouts with this hot market. Uh, plug was one of my best buys ever here at 119. I waited until the afternoon. Um, I actually gave, a, this was last week, a week ago, I was giving a, a webinar to my trading challenge students and I said I would not buy it at the open. And it was like 114, then it was down to 106 and I was like, this is boring. When it broke or threatened to break 120 in the afternoon, that's when I bought, and I bought big, 75,000 shares because I thought that I had a chance to really break out. I had no idea it would go up a dollar a share, and I could have made $75,000. Um, you know, I thought that it would go up 10 or 20 cents. It went up like 8 cents, and I took profits because I was like, you know, it didn't go up the 10 or 20 I wanted, but that's pretty good. Um, I bought the breakout because it was an earnings winner, because it broke the previous morning high, and because the volume was huge. The volume was strong. I like high volume breakouts. It means that even though the price is high, there's more and more people who are willing to buy the stock at a higher price, which leads me to believe that it will go even further, as Plug did. I did not touch Plug in here at all because I thought that it was overextended. I didn't buy it on the first down day because I still thought it was overextended. But on the second down day, I dip bought it here at 152, which turned out to be the exact bottom. And that was because, you know, I, I saw that it had potential. It was an earnings winner. And, you know, at 152, it's already 70 cents a share off of its highs due to a, a poorly researched uh, Seeking Alpha article. And I was right about this bouncing, you know, 40 cents a share from my, my bottom. And I underestimated I sold it too soon here too. But the point is that my two buy alerts I bought because first I thought that there would be a breakout. And then second, because I thought that it was a good dip buy. All this other junk, this other choppiness, and, and especially now that it's mid-range, do not touch it. Do not touch it. And those of you who shorted it above two and you're like, ha ha, Tim, I shorted it above two. I don't short earnings losers, earnings winners, okay? Um, it, this could have gone to three. You might have won this time, but I, I tell you in 14 years of trading, it is not a predictable strategy. The most predictable strategy is buying breakouts like right here. And again, I wish I had held, but what can you do? And then buying, dip buying after a big run up and buying on the dip. A very similar example is GoGo, -Go, where, you know, I was buying it, uh, wow, it's been more than 20 days, it's crazy. Um, it's been more than 20 days, but I was buying it in here in the, the 18s, 19s, and 21s, uh, the 18s and 19s before earnings, and then 21 after earnings, and it went up, and I actually had some in my long-term newsletter for, you know, it, it went up four days, and I sold my last remaining shares above 30, which was awesome. Um, and then it came down, and I, I should have really been aggressive dip buying it because this is the same kind of pattern as, as plug because obviously then it broke out to new highs. Um, but this is the kind of pattern that you need to think. I would never touch it up here. I wouldn't touch it here, and I wouldn't touch it here, and I'm not even touching it here because now you have an IPO uh, lockup where insiders can sell in a few days, and this might drop big. But the initial breakout at 21, which was an all-time high, uh, and then the dip buy here at 24 after it had already gone to 31. Those are the two times I would buy these earnings breakouts. Um, what I've been trying to do uh, unsuccessfully, as it turns out, the past few days, XXII, you know, I've been watching this. This is a, a new technology for cigarettes. They signed a licensing deal with a $99 billion company, thus validating their technology. It's been going up. Um, I actually tried buying some here in the 140s. I missed my execution. But then when it broke out past the previous high at 156, 155, I bought it at 160, thinking it would have a lot more to go. 
Uh, it went up to like 164 and then it, it went down to the 150s. I sold for a small loss and now it's back to 158. It might keep going. But I bought it because it had good news and you know the previous top was here at 175 and the previous top here was 171. So I thought that even if it triple topped, I thought that it could get to 170 and that would give me enough room to you know make 10 cents a share. I turned out to be wrong so far. I still have my long-term position. But this was me trying to squeeze in uh, you know, a, a, a trade, and I didn't wait for the proper breakout. Uh, same thing with liquid metal today. Um, in, in, actually, even in here, even though I, I profited, I was buying it here in the 15s and 16s, um, and it went up to, to nearly 19 cents. But it couldn't really break out past this 20 cents. And this one, actually, I was right on figuring that it could go to 18 or 19, and even if it wouldn't break 19 or 20, I could still have a decent profit, which I, which I did. Um, so the question is, do you want to wait for the actual breakout or do you want to try and get in ahead of time? Uh, GSAT is my one hold overnight because it is a true breakout. On the biggest volume ever today, it broke out past this resistance uh, back from two weeks ago here. The resistance was uh, 180 and then three weeks ago the resistance was 180. And then aside from this little blip here up to 184, you know, the resistance back in October was 181. So it closed at 182 on huge volume. That is good enough for me. This is not a contract winner. This is not an earnings winner. But there are rumors galore that, you know, this, this company has a satellite uh, technology that Amazon is rumored to be testing. Uh, that's why it started running up in here from the 70 cent range because Bloomberg wrote an article. And so with this one, it's a perfect technical breakout on huge volume. There were big buy blocks. I waited until the afternoon to buy. Very similar to plug. You know, it had a, a morning run up and then it kind of did nothing. I bought it actually pretty well here on the, on the dip um, before it closed strongly on huge volume. I mean, it, it trades 400,000 shares in a minute. So my 80,000 shares is, is small. Um, the question is, can it really break out tomorrow? And as I was saying on the challenge webinar, the reason why I wanted to do this video before I, I took a nap uh, was because if it breaks the day high of 184, it can really run to, you know, who knows what. It's a, it's a, then it's a, a breakout over this level back on November 6th. Um, and if you go back a few years, you know, you can see that it's it, once upon a time it consolidated. Well, I guess you can say it consolidated in here. Uh, and you know when it broke 109, it went straight to 140. So that's a nice 50% return. Then here, when it broke 150, it went straight to 180. So not the 50% return, but a nice you know 25% return. I'm not even looking for 25 or 50%. I'd be happy with 10% because if you go back even longer to five years, you will see there's resistance here at 205 and 210, and even a little resistance here at 197. So this is kind of a, a mix between uh, plug and XXII. Plug was, you know, a clear technical breakout with a huge catalyst, and again, I should have held. Um, whereas XXII was potentially a breakout, and the news wasn't as good. GSAT has the biggest volume in a perfect chart breakout, which is turning into the news, because, you know, if it breaks 184, everyone on Twitter tomorrow and every chat room is going to be like, it's a breakout, it's a breakout, it's going to two. And if it goes to 190, or 195 or two, I make you know 10, 15, or 20 cents a share, which is all I want. You know, 20 cents a share, I make 16 grand. Uh, that's a good day. Uh, if it goes up 10 cents, I make eight grand. If it doesn't break out, then guess what? I'm going to cut my losses and I'm going to make or lose you know one, two, or three cents a share. It's worth the risk. But I need you guys to understand these kinds of catalysts. Um, you know, it's it's based on earnings, it's based on contracts, it's based on rumors, but most importantly, it's based on price action. You know, ideally in a real, you know, perfect world, you want to wait for a clear breakout. If this breaks two and then Amazon confirms it, it can go straight to 250. Forget about making 20 cents a share. It could go to three if Amazon confirms that they're going to use GSATs. Um, so the biggest volume today, I think, is the, the biggest indicator for this one. It's a nice chart breakout. Um, or at least it's, it's really close. Um, you know, it's a highest closing price. So even though it didn't break 184, you know, if you if you scroll out to 
30 days, I mean, you can see it's a clear, it's the highest closing price. And that's, that's something to be said um, because there was, there was huge volume, you know. Um, so I, this is what I like. You know, I, I like these situations where worst case, I, I lose a few cents a share, but best case, I make good amounts of money. You never know if a breakout is really going to make it. All you can do is, is guess based on indicators. And the indicator in this case is the biggest volume with the rumors and the perfect chart. Uh, XXII I, you know, has the licensing deal, so technically it is a breakout, but it moves like a promotional stock. So I'm, I'm glad to be out of it short term, even though I still have a chance long term to make back uh, and make a, a sizable amount. And Plug was a classic earnings winner with huge volume. So Plug was the perfect thing, and you know, it's a good example to show you these three. Um, and, and Liquid Metal is, is based on rumors too. Um, but it's a good example to show you these four. Oh, I want to bring up one more, actually. Uh, MDDD, because this is not an earnings winner. This is, in fact, a pure pump and dump. Um, and it was pumped here as a 3D printing play here uh, at a dollar-ish. Uh, you can see the huge volume they sent out mailers. The next day it crashed. The next day, oh, well, then it was kind of steady, and then the next day it crashed again. But now it's built up this this huge run up, and people in the my challenge webinar were confused today when I said, you know, I mean, I, I have a lot going on right now. I'm talking with Reuters and CNN Money and you know Fox News, and everybody wants me on because you know I've created two millionaire students now, so no one else is doing that. So I'm a little distracted from from absolute trades, but had I been watching right here, you know, the previous high ran into a brick wall during the promotion was 114. So here it went up to 117. You might say, okay, and then it ran into a brick wall and it went down to 110. But the minute it breaks 117, let's look intraday. The minute it breaks 117, look at this. So here it actually goes up to 117. Here it goes up to 118. But right here, at 119 and 120, and it's easy to say you want to do this in hindsight, but you can see the volume. I'm not crazy. I didn't even give a trade alert, but if you want to follow my rules about buying breakouts, and this is a pump and dump. This has no value whatsoever in a few months or years, but it's a perfect technical breakout, and the perfect technical breakout can become a catalyst to you know buying a stock. And you can see here, if you buy it here at 119, 120, even if you're a little late here at 123 or, or 125, you know, what is it? What is the time here? The breakout was at 128, 215. So 45 minutes later, it's at 158. You make 40 cents a share, and then you know I, I wouldn't have any position overnight because the SEC could halt it, and you know uh, who knows what's going to happen. But if you buy the perfect technical breakout intraday and over the past few days, that in itself becomes a catalyst. Um, you know, for, for gains. And that's really what you should look for when you're trying to find a breakout, whether it's earnings, contract, technical breakout, huge volume, that's it. You know, in MDD, if you're buying pumps, you have to be extra careful because the SEC will halt this overnight um, sometimes, or bad news will come out, or they'll just collapse. No reason like NNRX did. Um, but with a play like this, uh, you know, where there's a lot of shorts who are just have, have, haven't seen a pattern like this, you know, you can, you can expect a big short squeeze. So if GSAT breaks 184 tomorrow at the open or ideally gaps up to 185 or ideally has news that pushes up to 190 or 195, it might really squeeze. Even though it only moves 5 or 10 cents a share every day, if there's news, if there's a perfect breakout, if there's huge volume, all of which is likely or more likely than not, um, at least one of those indicators, then I'm going to have a solid profit. I don't know. You know, maybe it'll do nothing. Maybe it'll top at 184 and I'll have to sell at 182 or 181 and make two cents a share. I'm in at 179. Maybe it'll do absolutely nothing and it'll open at 182, 181 and I'll have to sell at 180 or 179 and break even. Or maybe I might even lose a penny or two. But worst case, I'm going to lose, you know, unless it gets halted or there's bad news, which you can't predict. Um, you know, worst case, I'm going to lose like one, two, or three cents a share. Best case, I make like 20 to 50 cents a share. That's good risk reward. Most likely, I'm going to make 10 cents a share. That's my guess. My guess is it's going to go up to 190 and then it's going to stop and I'm going to sell. I'm going to make 10 cents a share. I'm going to make eight grand tomorrow. We'll see if it comes true, but I want to make this video because I want you to see it in real time and I want you taking us up on that 50% off newsletter and DVD sale. It ends 
take advantage of it. Thank you. Good night. I'm going to sleep. So it is the next day on GSAT. Uh, I turned out to be 100% right that it could go up to two. Uh, you have the perfect technical breakout. Um, I sold a little too early uh, at 184, 185-ish uh, for a measly five cents a share. It didn't really do anything uh, until uh, 10, 10.03 in the morning, intraday. Uh, so you have this delayed morning spike. Um, you know, I mean, this is why I'm a better teacher than I am trader. Uh, I did not expect it to go to two. Uh, I think, I mean, I said it was a possibility, but I thought that there would be more resistance at 190, 195. Um, and remember, I said that most of the time the stock goes up uh, 10 to 15 cents a share uh, on the best days. Today it's up 17 cents a share. Actually, the, the day high is 202, so it was up. Uh, 19 cents a share at one point. Um, I wouldn't be buying it here. You know, some people are like, I, I know I'm late, Tim, but I like the breakout. I'm buying it here at two. You're buying it 10% above the breakout. So it could keep going. Obviously, as, as I said, there's a lot of rumors uh, regarding this company. Uh, and, and this is the single best uh, chart breakout we, we've seen in months. Um, but I just, I, I wouldn't be buying it here. This is a time to sell uh, for a company with no news. If there was news, like if, if Amazon confirmed that they were, you know, working with them or or, or more FCC approvals, then then yeah, maybe it could it would have better odds of keep going. But right now, I think the news is just that it's a perfect technical breakout on huge volume, and in a, a down market, um, you know, this is this is what all the the traders flock to. Um, this is near best case scenario. Uh, right now. So 10% overnight, or, you know, I'm filming this at, at noon Eastern. So, uh, you know, you, you would have had to wait roughly two hours today. So two and a half hours of, of trading uh, to make 10%. Uh, it's kind of laughable uh, when you think about what money market funds and, and mutual funds and, and quote, uh, Wall Street professionals, you know, where, where they try and make 10 or 20% per year. Uh, on your money, uh, and and you can do this in two and a half hours of trading penny stocks if you if you wait for the right patterns. Um, so you know, obviously, I, I teach a very unloved uh, sector, the the single most unloved sector in all of finance. But I hope through you know my now nearly fourteen hundred video lessons and, and DVDs um, galore, you know, you're able to see that there are times of predictability. Uh, if you look at the indicators and if you look at the risk reward, I didn't know 100% that it would go to two today. I didn't even think that it would get to 195. You know, uh, given the the um, you know how it traded at the market open, I didn't even think it would get to 190. Hence, why I sold it. I still made you know 3,500 dollars. So don't cry for me. Um, but here at two dollars a share, you know I'd, I'd be up 16,000. But this is pretty much the story of my trading career. This is one of the, the many reasons that I got into trading because I see all this opportunity. I see, you know, obviously I, I became a millionaire, but I haven't captured all of my potential as a trader. And I, I just think I'm a better teacher. You know, I, I laid out the case pretty rationally. But then when, you know, my, my little greedy Jewish self saw $3,000 plus in profits and it wasn't really breaking out, I took it. Uh, perhaps I probably should have sold, you know, three quarters of my position or half my position and locked it in. Um, I don't know what the, the right thing to do is. I have always taken two, three, five, ten thousand dollar profits. Rarely have I ever held, um, you know, when there's no news. If, if there was a catalyst, uh, perhaps I would hold. But then again, you know, we saw a plug when I bought it at 119 and it went to 223 within a few days and I sold it at for the same four cent a share gain. And, you know, again, I, I made, you know, three thousand dollars on that. So, I'm making 3000 at a time, but I'm also betting big uh, when I'm comfortable with the pattern. So I still can improve as a, a trader, but as a teacher, I'm dead on. And I'm so glad that so many of you, um, you know, held to 185, 190, 195, and, and some of you are still holding, um, or, or some of you sold at two. You know, by my count, we've made about $57,000 overnight. Uh, 
between the, the people who have posted uh, on Profitly. And obviously, the, there's more people who don't want to be public. So solid, uh, you know, call it a sixty, maybe $70,000 in profits overnight. Um, if you wait for trades like this, you'll do better. Uh, that's that's what I try to teach you, to, to be more selective. But this was a perfect breakout. I don't know if it keeps going, but I'm, I'm glad that I nailed the breakout. I, I told everybody in the alerts. I called it perfectly in the video. This is why you got to join and, and, and you know join in the fun and, and, and start trading these. Even if you're not comfortable trading them, this is a very important uh, point. You know, If you're not comfortable trading them, at least watch them. Uh, at least learn in real time. You know, one guy, uh, he's a new trading challenge student, and he was like, you know, Tim, I saw it. I just wasn't sure. I hesitated. I missed it. I feel like crap. Don't feel like crap, okay? You you miss plenty of trades over your lifetime. I mean, I, I miss thousands of good trades. The key is being able to recognize them, uh, you know, being able to spot them, being able to take action on them, and most importantly, being comfortable. You know, a lot of people will look at this and, and just see gibberish. I see a perfect breakout right here, and this is because I'm very comfortable with the patterns. And this breakout is far better than this breakout, and far better than this breakout too. You know, this is this is one of the most perfect breakouts I've seen in I don't know how many months, uh, but it's it's beautiful on the highest volume. I only wish that there was news or a catalyst which would have you know at least helped me hold maybe a little bit longer or hold some of my position. Um, but I'm comfortable with it, and I want you all to get to that point. You know, the way that I created my two millionaire students is by getting them comfortable with these patterns and being able to predict the next one. And so every time you see this pattern, you're in your comfort zone. It's not like it's, oh my God, there's another trade. I don't know what to do. It's like, okay, there's another opportunity. I know exactly what to do. And that's what I want you guys to do. Again, I don't know if I said it in the, the previous video, but you know, Tim Grittani, who is my, my first true millionaire student. I mean, he started with $1,500 of his own money uh, and, and two and a half years ago. And now he's over a million dollars in trading profits. You know, Michael Good started with 100000 So it's not as impressive as going from $1,500 to a million. Um, but Tim Grittani, when he made $200,000 in one day during one of his uh, best trades, uh, actually his best trading day ever, it was on patterns that I had taught him, pattern uh, a pattern, you know, if, if you Google how to make $200,000 in one day, you can see the pattern. You can see my blog post about it. You can see that that pattern is in my DVDs. And I was asleep in Japan when he executed that trade, um, multiple trades. And, you know, that is the, the highest uh, compliment you could pay me to, to be able to trade these patterns on your own, to recognize them on your own, to profit off them, and to feel comfortable on them all on your own. Um, I am just here to show you these patterns. I'm not a master trader. I'm not buying, you know, a million shares at 180 and selling it at two and being like, that's how you make $2 million overnight. That's not what I do. Although in this case, I theoretically could have had I had a big hedge fund. I'm not a hedge fund manager any, anymore. Um, I wasn't as great as I am a teacher. So I, I found what works best for me. Um, but any of you guys could buy a million shares or buy, you know, a thousand shares and, and you know you buy a thousand shares at a buck eighty and sell it at two you still make ten percent it's the same ten percent whether you have a thousand shares or a million shares or anything in between but the point is is that these kinds of setups happen every now and then and it's very highly predictable money that you can make you know overnight sometimes it takes two or three days um, sometimes it takes two or three hours but the fact, it, the fact is that you need to be able to spot these and you need to be able to understand it. You know, when I posted that video last night of why I bought GSAT, you know, a lot of people were confused. They just don't see the patterns yet. And I'll tell you that it gets easier when you watch all of my video lessons, when you watch all of my DVDs. I can't say, oh, just watch, you know, this specific number of DVDs and you'll get it. It, it clicks at different times for everybody. Some people, it still hasn't clicked. I'm going to keep making videos every single time an opportunity comes up. And remember, this is a lifelong, you know, money maker, for lack of a better term. Uh, whether it clicks for you this year or next year or today or tomorrow, just keep up with that perspective of trying to get comfortable with these patterns, trying to spot them on your own, and then 
after you do that, then you can take action and profit off them. And understand that, you know, even my millionaire students and I, we don't win every time. We each win, you know, roughly 65, 70% of the time. So it, nothing is guaranteed, but we're comfortable. We take action and that's why our, you know, wealth has grown so dramatically, if, if you, so quickly. If you don't focus on growing your wealth, you know, so quickly, if you don't say, okay, I want to turn a thousand into a million in two years like Tim Grittani. Don't focus on that. Just take it one trade at a time. Say, if you have $1,000, say, look, I want to grow my 1000 to 1500 Then I want to grow my 1500 to 2500 Take it one good trade at a time. I know it seems like it's it's not a, a lot of money. Like if you, you know, if you buy 1,000 shares of this at 180 and you sell it at two, or even if you sold it at 190 and you like make like 100 bucks, but it's the process. You know, some trades you're going to do better than others. Am I pissed that I sold at like 184? No. You know, I, I, I went in with the specific thesis that it would gap up and morning spike. It did a little bit. You know, it broke the, the previous day high of 184, but that's about it. You know, up until 10 a.m., 187 was the high. So getting out of 184, boo-hoo, I gave away like two cents a share. At, you know, 10.01 a.m., that that was when it really surged. But even here, I was like, you know, I would be selling here at 195 because there's resistance. There's very little chance I would ever wait until two. Best case, I, I could have waited until you know 193, 195, and made another 8,000. But whether I make 3,000 or 11,000 or you know 16,000 uh, or 18,000 actually is what it would be right now. You know, the, the point is, is that I was right about the breakout. I felt comfortable with the pattern. I went in big, uh, and I profited, and and that's the the best that you can hope for, you know. That's why I also say, you know, you need to join Superman's newsletter. Um, we've extended the sale just for through today. Uh, if you go to Superman's, you know, newsletter page on any annual annual plan, and you type in the word gobble G O B B L E, uh, you can save fifty percent over his regular monthly prices. Um, but get comfortable with his patterns. Uh, even if you don't want to follow him, it's it's just an extraordinary, uh, you know, pattern to to recognize the way that he researches, and this is why I'm so happy that he has video lessons like me, and he's he's growing his video lesson library. You know, even if you don't want to follow these trade alerts, even if you have no money whatsoever right now, you can still watch the video lessons every single day, every single night, and get comfortable with the patterns because we're basically putting up. You know, we're, we're cataloging uh, the entire history of our patterns. Uh, you know, what his patterns are obviously different than mine, but we're cataloging the patterns that have made us rich. Example after example, how we do. Sometimes we trade them perfectly. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes we're wrong. But watch them all. Get used to it. It's so much better than watching TVs or movies where you have these crappy little plots you know, you have a, a crappy payoff with maybe some twist or surprise ending, or maybe not even a surprise ending, and maybe it's just a, you know, a typical bad M. Night Shyamalan movie these days. Um, you know, that's a waste of time, okay? People who watch movies and TV all the time, they want to be entertained. They want to not think about their, their lives. They want to be taken away to, to fantasy worlds and think of, of places that are better than their lives. This is something that I want you to watch and and put hours, if not tens, if not hundreds or thousands of hours into because this is not as much fun as watching a movie. It is a little more work, but the payoff is so much more. This can change your life. And it's tough for me to, you know, try and instill that message because trading is weird and penny stocks are weird and short selling and day trading. None of them are the most popular topics um, in society today. But the fact that I've now created you know, millions from just when I started with $12,000 and now I have two students who started with just a few thousand dollars and now they have millions and it's just going to keep going. So I'll keep preaching, but I, I want, you know, uh, we have a lot of new people uh, who don't understand what, what's going on and what you need to focus on is learning from trades like this, uh, cataloging them, getting comfortable with them, and then eventually profiting off of them on your own. Um, we're first profiting off them ideally with my help and then eventually off on your own as, you know, I scoot you out the door and you're self-sufficient like Tim Grittani and Michael Good. 
and then the end goal is that you're millionaires and I'm happy because I get more testimonials. That's how the game works. Watch this video 50 times and memorize it. My name is Tim Sykes and I teach people to trade stocks. I am a self-made multimillionaire. So this is the ideal trade that I'm gonna talk about. I want you guys to understand every single aspect of this trade. 